In this video we're going to be learning how to display the comments underneath a post because as you can see at the moment all we have is the post itself and then we have some details about the post and the number of likes but we don't have the comments when we click on this button it does nothing. So we're going to fix that in this video. Before we can display comments we need to go and update our API and the API needs to return the comments depending on what post we send it. So let's get started. So what we're going to do inside our API is we're going to create a new method for whenever we send a get request to the server. So we're just going to copy this and we're going to change it from get users to get comments. And then what we want to do is we want to say and is set get post ID. So now we need to get the comments out of the database. So we've already implemented that in our comment class. So if I click on that and I just copy this function, I copy the inside of it and I paste that in there. So now we're selecting the comments from the database, but we're using our old DB query function. So we have to say DB query using the object we created. And instead of echoing out the comments, what we're going to do is echo out some JSON. And what we also need to do is we're selecting the post ID. So we need to scroll over here and we have the variable post ID and we're going to change that to get post ID. So what we're going to do is create a variable called output. And it's going to be a string. And what we're going to do is we're just going to append onto that variable. So we're going to say output dot equals a square bracket to open up our array and then down here what we're going to do is we're going to say output dot equals the closing square bracket and everything inside here is our JSON object. So we say output dot equals and the first thing we output is a curly bracket then we just output the closing curly bracket and then in here we say output we're going to append on the word comment as a string and then we're going to append on the actual comment which in this case is comment comment just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put a comma in there and we're going to just copy this and paste it again and we're going to change this to commented by and that's going to be equal to comment username and then we want to put in a comma after each item in the array and then right at the end what we want to do is take away the last comma so we say output equals sub string we'll start in the zeroth character go to str len of output minus one and it's sub str and at the start we want to put in our output variable so now we're just going to the output and we're taking off the last character and we just need to take away that comma. And now you can see here's our JSON being printed out. So now that we've done that, we've done everything we need to do on our API side. The next thing we need to do is go to our index page and actually display this output. So to display this output, we're going to use a modal window. So in Bootstrap Studio, what we're going to do is we're just going to type in the word modal and we're just going to drag that in. You can't see anything to begin with, but if I click on that, you can see here is our modal here. And if I set the opacity to one and I say display equals in nine block, you can see there is our modal. So in here, we're going to put in the post title. In here, we're going to put in the comments and we're going to delete the save button because we don't need that. We just need the close button. So what I'm going to do is delete these two styles. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this design. So here's our exported index page. And what we're going to do is scroll down to find our modal. So here it is here. And we're just going to copy this into our index page. So we're going to scroll down and put it in the same place. We're just going to paste it in here. So now what we're going to do is create a simple function that runs when we click on the comments button. So we're going to scroll down here and in our Ajax, after we get the posts, we're going to scroll down some more. And here is where we add the on click event for our like button. So we're just going to copy that and we're going to use this to add the on click event to our comment button. So we have this data ID parameter. So I'm just going to change it to data post ID so that it doesn't get mixed up with the like button. And what we're going to do is scroll across and you can see here is where we add the data attribute to the like button where we're just going to scroll back the other way. And here's our comment button and we're just going to paste in data ID and rename it to data post ID. So if I just create an alert and I refresh, you can see when I click on the comment buttons, now we get alerts. So instead of getting an alert, what we want to do is again, get the ID, which in this case is the button ID. So we get that the same way as we did it last time. We just look for button ID. And instead of looking in the data ID attribute, we look in the data post ID attribute. And then just like before, we create an Ajax request. So we just copy this code, paste it in here. We change the type from post to get. And we're going to go to API slash comments post ID equals data post ID. And then what we do is we get the response and instead of updating the HTML, we're just going to delete that. And here is where we're going to show them the modal window. So we're going to say show modal. We'll actually say show comments modal and we'll just pass in the result variable. So now in the show comments modal method, we need to create that. So we're just going to scroll down to the bottom. And what we're going to do is create a function called show comments modal. And it takes our result as a parameter. And we're just going to say dot modal dot modal show to display our modal window. 
and then we're going to say dot modal body dot html to modify the body of it and say hello world if i refresh click on comments you can see now we have hello world printed out i click on this when we get hello world printed out again click on this when we get nothing because we have no comments on that post so we're just going to instead of outputting hello world we're going to create a variable called output and what we're going to do here is we're going to say for var i equals zero i is less than res dot length i plus plus which is just a standard for loop to loop through this array and then what we're going to say is output plus equals result i dot comment and if i just go up here and say output equals an empty string to create it and then what we can do is say output plus equals a horizontal line and now if i refresh you can see now we have our two comments printed out in this case we have three comments printed out and then finally what we're going to do is scroll up to the modal window we're going to go to modal body we're going to create a style attribute and we're just going to say that the max height is say for example 400 pixels and then if it goes over that height we're just going to say overflow y is automatic which just will automatically create a scroll bar for us if the content is too long and before we go in the modal window we're just going to change the title to comments or something like that refresh you can see now it says comments and we can see the two comments and as a finishing touch what we're going to do before we append on the horizontal line we're going to say output plus equals result i dot commented by and then actually before that we'll say output plus equals and we'll just put in that squiggly symbol that we put in before now if we run this we can see who wrote the comments to and if i resize the browser you can see the social network and the comments window and everything resizes along with it and everything works as we'd expect so that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter and reddit if you have any questions don't forget to email me at francis at but that's it for this video and i'll see you next time